this is the platform that you must come on. So we're into our read. We say blessings, blessings, blessings again, beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family, International Interactive Ministry, where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Friday, Friday, June the 14th, 2024. We'll be reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 15, and it reads, Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and in their minds, will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now were remission, now were remission of their. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled with an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promised and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works notwithstanding the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some is but exhorting one another and so much more the, as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice of sins, but a certain fearful looking for the judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. He that despises Moses' law died without mercy unto, under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye Shall he be thought worthy, who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God, and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing, and hath done despite unto the Spirit of grace? For we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of a living God, of the living God. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Partly, whilst we were made a gay, gazing stop, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. For ye had compassion of me in my bounds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and enduring substance. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have heard of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the savings of the soul. Chapter 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of of things not seen. For by, the, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Now through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts 
and by it being dead yet speaketh. Now by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, he moved with fear. He prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, he obeyed, and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Mama Pam going to Africa? By faith. He sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself, she received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Now these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that say, such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he had prepared for them a city. And may the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer and me, the reader of this ex exciting Read of the word of God. Reading the hall of faith. Hebrews 11 chapter is just full of faith, faith, and more faith. You see in here where it says that God called Noah and he sent them forth by faith. And then he called Abraham and he sent him to a place which he knew not of. And he said, did Abraham obey? See, that's Mama Pam. I just obey. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. He said he obeyed. He went out, not knowing where he went. Mama said, Mom Pam moved to Texas. So, okay. Lord said, Mom Pam, go to Africa. Okay. Lord said, Mom Pam, move to Africa. I'll say, okay. I just do what God tell me to do, y'all. Praise God. If these readings are a blessing to you, if these readings are a blessing to you, you come at your lunch, lunch you come at your lunchtime, noon, or you come and you catch me when you get off work. Well, however you see these, they are a blessing to you. The reads are a blessing to you. It's okay to be a blessing to the woman of God that is sowing solid, good meat to you every day. I serve y'all with some good lunches every day. Praise the name of the Lord. But if you don't like the lunches that I serve, you don't want to give your hard-earned cash, I understand. But you want something in return. Many people will support, but they got to get something in return. That's okay, too. I got some way you can get in return. Go to 7minutebling.com. 7minute bling, 7minute bling, bling, bling. 7minutebling.com. And on 7minutebling.com, the beautiful pieces of jewelry that you see me wear every day. Aren't these beautiful little hearts? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. $5. $5. $5. I said $5. These beautiful hanging with this little sheer little necklace that I wore with it. $5. And the earrings that go with it, a little bitty thing just like this. $5. Go to 7minutebling.com. If you want to be a part of the ministry and get your name logged in as a, as a part of 
this ministry. This is the main platform. We have over 12,000 followers. We have over 12,000 followers, people who have joined. I am not saying they come on every day. We have a couple hundred that come on every day, but that is the main platform. That is my main ministerial site. That is the platform that has supported me more than any of the others. I've been on here for over seven years reading the Word of God, but on that big old platform in a year and a half, I have over 12,000 followers and over 8,000 of them are from the continent of Africa. So you wonder why I love Africa. God bless you.